Hi guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kingfisher segment on snook traces today. What I'm going to show you is our made up saltwater snook traces that we make here at the Kingfisher. Uh, the components are very simple, and I'll just open this up. So what we've got here is a power swivel, number five. 25 centimeters of number four AFW wire. A little six centimeter skirt. That is a 4.0 stainless steel uh, mustard hook. It's a 34007SS stainless steel hook. So this whole segment today is basically going to be showing you how to tie your own trace. And again, you can use different colored snook skirts depending on what your preference as a customer would be. Again, there's our power swivel number fives. Our 340740s in a bolt pack, that's 25 in a pack. AFW, it's American Fishing Wire size four. Okay, to start off with, I'm gonna cut 25 centimeters of number four wire. Pair of side cutters. Okay, there we go. There's our wire. Put that out of the way. Our stainless uh, steel 4-0. One power swivel. I'll just grab it there, number five. And of course, I'm going to use a blue one instead of a pink one today. To start off with, what we're going to do is a haywire twist. Round those pliers, very, very important guys. Let's just take it here. Twist, twist, just to form a loop. So basically you can see we formed our loop over there. The loop is going to go through the eye and around like so. Normal pair of pliers and all we do is we just pinch it. Now very important to remember is to keep the angle the same when we're twisting. We're going to go once and as you can see there we go 45 degrees on each side. Twice, three times, four times, and on the fifth one, what I'm going to do is this little tag in. I'm going to bring 90 degrees to the actual wire. So as I do it, there we go. If you can see, it's pretty much 90 degrees to the main wire. Now this part of it, the tag end, we're going to wrap around six times. So there we go. And again, we're going to keep it as close as possible. Two, three, four, five, six times. Once we get there, we're going to bend the wire back towards myself, 90 degrees. So you can see what it looks like. And then we're going to work anti-clockwise. In other words, I'm going to bring it towards me. So I just pinch it and then go backwards like that, and it breaks off perfectly well. You will see there's no burrs on that whatsoever. Next, I'm going to take the wire and thread it through the actual skirt. Sliding it down. Like that. Like I said, 25 centimeters. And I'm going to make another loop. Like so. I'm then going to take a number five power swivel. That's our Kingfisher power swivel that we do here. Very, very strong, very durable, long lasting. Okay, just grab it like so. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. I'm going to wrap it around five times. One, two, three, four, five times around. And on that last one, Bring it to 90 degrees. 
So there we go, it's 90 degrees. Wrap it around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times. To break it off, bend it back 90 degrees and basically anti-clockwise. There we go. Just straighten everything up a bit. There we go. There is our finished snook tray. It's as simple as that, guys. Put the two together. Voila, quick and easy. So part two of our snook trace that I just done, which is that over there, is to bait it. Basically what we're gonna be using and requiring is some thin latex cotton, that's the Kingfisher one, a sharp filleting knife, and of course one of our Kingfisher Mandler sardines. What we need to do is to basically fillet the sardine. So I'm gonna take the knife and work towards the tail and there's nothing fancy about it, guys. This is a semi-frozen uh, sardine. It's always best to work with a semi-frozen one when it comes to snook fishing. There we go. So all I've basically done is cut myself a piece about that long. Put it face down. I'm just gonna remove this one for the time being. Let's put him over there. Now you'll see underneath the fleshy side, you've got that belly part of it. We don't want that, it'll cause it to spin. So all we're going to do is just trim it down a bit. So we remove that part of it. We want to make it a little bit more aerodynamic in the water. The tail part, which is this part here, we're going to give it a little bit of a split. What that's going to do is basically give it a bit more movement in the actual water. You'll see here now, if you look at it, if you can have a look there, it's actually quite thick. So we just want to trim it down to make it a little bit thinner. So we just go like that, just to trim it down. Okay, take our latex cotton. Okay. Take our hook. We're going to take it, just measure it up to where we want that hook to actually come through. And on the bend over here, is basically where it needs to go. So straight through the center, just by that little uh, cut that I've made is where I want that to go. So I'm gonna take my latex cotton and just gonna tie it by the eye. So I'm just wrapping it around the eye of the hook. and behind it. There we go. So basically that's all I've done. You can see I've just tied a whole lot of cotton around that area. I'm now going to take my skirt and slide it down. And as I slide it, I just twist the actual skirt. So it ends up pretty much looking like that, guys. This little tail part of here is going to flap as you're trawling it along. And there we go, it's as simple as that. So once again, all I've done is I've just pulled the skirt over the actual sardine. And yeah, that's it. It's as simple as that. There's nothing fancy to it. Put it in the water as you, you're trawling along. Just have a look, make sure it doesn't spin. If it does spin, trim it down a little bit more, but that's it. It's quick, easy, and simple, as you can see there, guys. Good luck, and enjoy your snook fishing.